Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of Persona 4 Golden Blind playthrough. My name is Moosewain1, if you're new to the channel, welcome, and if you're not new to the channel and you're already subscribed, welcome back. So before we start, I just wanted to get a few things out of the way. Uh, I know last video I talked about it, but this video I'm actually gonna actually make good on that promise. What I decided to do is this time around, I'm going to start making about 20 to 25 minute videos, at the most 30 minute videos. And let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. If you rather these short videos or the longer videos that are like 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, I have a few reasons for making the switch. One, because it's a lot easier to record this way. It's a lot easier to get better takes and it doesn't take as long. Two, it's a lot easier to edit if I have to, you know, edit some cutscenes or something like that. And three, since we're recording shorter videos and it takes less time to record these 20 to 25 minute videos, this could also give me time to work on other projects I want to do. If I want to start new games, if I want to do reviews or, th or something like that, I definitely have the time to do that within these videos. Now what's going to happen is if I decide to do that or if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. But if I decide to do that or if you want me to do that, that gives me more time to actually do those projects. So let me know which one which one you guys like, would like me to do. And that being said, let's get started. Oh yeah, that being said, let's go to bed. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. Let's go to bed. Not gonna lie, that was very creepy. Not really a fan of that, but it's fine. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. All right, then. Good morning. Bye, Dad. <laughs> Dojima left the house. That's fine. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako is the most understanding child I've ever met in my life. Nanako looks worried. Girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? I don't know how I feel about get the juicy stories. It feels like I feel like it implies something completely different. It seems there's been an incident. That's right, mind your business. Oh, school wide assembly, hey, that's never did good. You see it yesterday? Oh no. Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You ever hear people gossiping about something? Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. It can't be anything good, I promise you, Chie. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, Yosuke knows something. Everyone, please settle down. Please take that off school your head, ma'am. I, I can't. Please take it off your First, head. The principal has something we get to it. Say. You're a history teacher. It's fine. We understand. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Ah, uh, see, I knew. Squad passed assemblies are never away. good. Never for good reasons. Again, Ms. Yosuke knows something. She was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. 
senpais. You hear? About that, oh, right? I saw it too. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Yeah, rest in peace, Saki. Found dead? How could this happen? <laughs> Yo, Ski, you good, bro? She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. I put money on that. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Or, unknown. uh, Come on, this wild guess here. Drama. Maybe the cause of death was hanging upside down oh, by, the way, by a telephone pole. Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel but thingy. Hey. What do I know? She totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. I don't know that that logic totally follows, but hey, you know, you do you. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Talk to him, Chie. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Ooh, this music? Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. Okay, so far, and then all the tracks that I've heard on the Persona the 4 soundtrack have been straight fire. What? There hasn't been one that I haven't liked thus far. You heard in the game. body was found in a similar situation as that announcement. And I hope they keep that energy. I I pray they keep that energy. Remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying? People who appear on that TV die? That's likely. I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that oh, that's right. Teddy the also exists. It has to have something to do Not with the answers uh, there. I kind of wish he didn't. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Probably. Well, what do you think? Yeah, he's he's probably right. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, and it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Sorry, I'm being yeah. quiet, guys. I'm, I'm interested in this I'm story now. I'm about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. That's also very true. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. Lead it to us, teenagers. Love it. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. You know what? I'm gonna go get ready. That's true. We do have I'm plot armor, so you, we we can protect ourselves. I don't know if that that translates to you, you Yosuke, but hey, we'll try it. Yosuke has asked you to take him into that TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels, 
but we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Let's call it Yosuke. You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go with this one. That save noise is actually really satisfying. I never noticed that before. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. That's fair. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? I know the game doesn't want me to say this doesn't involve me, but you know what? No, we're, we're the protagonist. Yeah, I thought. Not. Okay, I'm kind of digging this track too. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. Wh what? Then this is a lifeline? I don't know. I don't feel comfortable oh, leaving this to Chie. Here. This is for you. Yes, this is for you. Obtained golf club. Oh, and medicine. Cool. Looks like we might actually be getting into the meat and potatoes of this game. We actually might get to right, let's go. play and exit. No use wasting any more Cut scene help. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey! I said wait! Alright, into the TV world we go. Ooh, this transition is so good. I love it. I love that transition. All right. So you don't think anyone's going to ask why someone's standing with a rope inside a TV? Oh, well, never mind. I guess that problem just went straight out the window. That's fine. See? I knew this wasn't going to work. Now what? It's okay, GA. Plot armor. It's fine. I love the way that the get up implies that we came in is this? smooth as hell and Yosuke just came in and fell on his cheeks. This is the same That's great. Place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. You guys, why'd you come back? Sir, please grow a mouth. Thank you. I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. I wonder up. if that zipper on the back of his head this actually works as a zipper. Came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. All right, bro. All right, I'm going to need you to be solid. Never do that again. Don't label us like that. Yeah, Teddy, don't be throwing around labels. That's me. Talking about throwing people in. None of that. If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Uh, that sounds Did that about right. Someone throw those two in here? Hey. 
What do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? Most likely. If that's the case. What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyway? Why are you so hostile, man? We're, we're it's a one way just door. trying to find out what's you going can't on. Get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. So rude. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Li what? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. Bro, you can't talk big. Teddy literally yeah. controls I'm your the one future. Who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have I don't know his proof? name. I'm proof I'm just gonna call him Teddy, frankly. People in here. I was gonna call him Pooh, but that sounds a little a little unoriginal. Doesn't work that way. See? So it is you guys. For the last time. Plus, one of my friends us, has a dog named Teddy. So we've got so. nothing to prove to you. I thought it was pretty cool. Hey, I'm just calling Teddy for now. Our questions. That sounds this like it isn't works. like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the it sounds fog like lifts. the fog That's when the shadows is the get killer. Violent. Case close. Credits roll. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Bro, we I told we you. We just walked I in. told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying you might be the culprit. You backed off really fast once you got aggressive. I'm just making sure. Hmm. Yeah. Wonder what that what? says about his character. And this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming hmm. thing here. I wonder where the Midnight Channel comes from then. What do you mean? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. He has a really good point. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Yosuke, there is a zipper. Come on. Oh my God. Whoa. What is up with this man's body? It, it's empty. Inside. Why? Why does he have a zipper? If you could just pull this, I, I have several questions. And frankly, that raises more questions than it answers. Me? With the flip, though, that was, that was pretty cool. He flipped his head back on. That's crazy. Thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Oh, well, thank you. So kind of you. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... Or else what, Bear? I'm not going to let you guys out of here. Okay, never mind. That's, that's pretty hefty. All right, you win. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... So we're just going to play exterminate. <laughs> He's got like exterminator for a crying bear. Love it. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. 
Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Does not look like we have a choice. You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? Oh, it Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Hey, got that right. We're basically forced to do this. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was this contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Well, we've got no choice. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. I wish they had sound files, like, to where they could say the protagonist's name if it's the canon name? name. Teddy! Oh, wow, his name's actually Teddy. <laughs> Figures. 10 out of 10. How was not expecting to find that. the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. But like I was saying, I wish they had person. You different like senpai? files where they where the voice actors recorded the protagonist's the canon person name, which is Yunarukami. That'd be really cool. But I understand why they did it because well, there's, there's some there. crazy names you happening out here. Clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? Oh, wow. Whoa. I can show you the world, headass. Jeez. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but, I mean, we just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead I keep skipping dialogue. I apologize. Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. That's also very true. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? You whip. Can Teddy really not fight? Alright. Let's try pushing Teddy. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, good. It was just, no! just a little push. That's fine. Is this thing for real? He's really just on his back like that. That's crazy. So lame. Yeah, you're right. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get. Oh yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <laughs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wh wait! Bruh, come on. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? It's gonna run if something happens. You better not be planning to hightail it if something does money. come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. Huh. As That's usual, interesting. nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. 
Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? I'm sorry I'm not talking a whole lot. I'm just, I'm really interested in this story now. Wait a second! They're here! Aw, oh, shucks. Love it. What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have All right, weaknesses. looks like we're finally into the meat and potatoes of this game, weakness, which is like I said earlier, it's half a slice of life, which is easier. most of what's been happening now. But this is the turn-based JRPG aspect, too. where we're gonna be fighting shadows and stuff like that, and I'm excited to see what this combat is like. Try I can't imagine it's too different works. from Persona 5. Uh, when you use the attack, the enemy is weak against it will be knocked down. Attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. Knock all the enemies down, you will get. Oh, you have to knock all the enemies down, you will get a one more. Use your weapons and skills to strike any weakness to get a one more. Attacks to get advantage in battle. So, hit the enemy. So, basically, attack enemies' weaknesses to get a one more. But if they attack you, they also get a one more. It's a two way street. First things first, let's check out this persona because I'm not gonna lie, he's a Nagi. Izanagi Loki got the drip, because that's that's such a cool design. I love Izanagi's design. It might be one of, if not my favorite. But in the meantime, let's get into this combat, because I've been waiting. I'm sure you all have been waiting too. Izanagi. It, it holds up really well. I'll keep track of what but uh, it's, what effect it's pretty good. Enemies. I like it. I mean, I kind of knew what to expect from playing Persona 5. But still, this is this is good. I like this. Get one more. I'm glad he's an Aggie's main persona in this, cause he's my favorite one. Uh, we got the nine iron. Might as well use it. That does mad damage. Wow. All right, we got 30 XP. We got the soul drop. Sort of Reggie. Amazing, Sensei. Oh, cool. We leveled up. We got to level two. All right. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna end this video off here because it's around the 25, maybe 30 minute mark. I have to keep, I've been keeping track of time. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But thank you so much for watching the video, and let me know in the comments if you like the this format more. Or if you would like to go back to the 40, 45 minute videos or something, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. You know, it's still kind of early in the YouTube game, so I'm going to be, it's going to be getting a lot better as it goes on, as I can sort of figure out what I want this channel to become and what I want to do with it. But at the end of the day, I really just want to grow a community with this channel. So in order to, if you want to help me do that, please subscribe, uh, leave a like. It means a lot to me. It would help me a lot. And the most important thing is share this video to a family member or a friend because, again, it would just be nice to reach out to more people. So thank you so much for coming and I hope you all have a fantastic day.